So starting it up for the very first time, the color comes up with cyber power display now rather than going straight to the manufacturer of the motherboard. So I'm not really sure who designed this motherboard, but it should be fine. I'm happy it came with two, two uh, the PCI ports so you can actually have two different graphics cards installed. Uh, let's see if this thing works. So it's all loading up. I have it set up to my, my cheaper setup with my Ryzen right there. Probably going to leave it here for a couple days because I need to get everything going and I'm going to leave everything originally stocked for a while and then maybe switch out the RAM. It's only a little bit faster, maybe my two sticks of four rather than the one stick of eight. So it's going to ask us to set Cortana and we're going to say new. Welcome. I guess we gotta watch this entire thing. In the meantime, let's mess around with this. It's red. So it looks like my old one. Blue, two. Now this is pretty cool. And then you can change the colors. Brighten it, darken it. Try going real dark. Sorry, I'm staring at nothing. setting this up. United States, yes. US. Skip. I connect to my internet, which I'm going to go with this one. It's pretty cool what it's doing. It's got tons of different light patterns. I keep switching between them. Then accept. password. You don't want Cortana. Do you want to activate across web devices? Nope. Online speech recognition? Nope. 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 Which so I believe find my device, but I don't want it to know my location. None of your business, computer.
All right, now that the PC is all started up, what you're going to want to do is look for an NVIDIA experience. So you just type it in, it should come right up. Click on her, and mine's already open. You're going to have to log in. Oh, it's closing on. Updating. So basically you're just updating your drives. You create a login, you can log in with a Google account, a Facebook account, whatever you want. Uh, they just send you emails via whatever you sign up as. And waiting. It will take probably a couple hours to actually get your computer all set up and ready to go after getting all your games installed and everything. So everything is all set up. Now I'm going to look at drives. And then I'm currently already started downloading. So just close that and you can just click install. So you go to drives and if it's not currently up to date, you just go over here, click up to date, and then it will download your drives and then so on and so forth. <clears throat> so as this is downloading, you really can't really do too much else, but I can show you guys the stats that I got for this. So I found the, uh, the RAM that came with it. It is made specifically for Ryzen, but it does say compatible with the latest Intel 300 motherboards. And it's $50 for a match to what I currently have, except what came with mine is a 2,666. I cannot find that, but a 2,400, 16 gigs is much better than one 2,666. So I might purchase this and sell my XPG, depending on if XPG is cheaper or not. I should look at that because I might be able to sell this one for more money. Uh, next we can look at my cyber power score. So I scored an 87. This is without up-to-date drives. So 87, 75, 56. And it is a cyber power C series uh, motherboard. And we got eight gigabytes of RAM, 5.2 gigabytes available. And the Intel scored a 92% and the 1660 Ti. So they actually sent me the right one. Six gigabyte scored a 93, which is really, really high. Especially considering the uh, the drives aren't even up to date. Uh, the SSD is a Western Green 120 SSD, and then the main hard drive, the one terabyte, is a Western Blue uh, from 2012 build, and it scored 104. And then the RAM, like I said, they clocked it at 2,667, and it scored a 47, which isn't the best. If you overclock it a little bit more, you can get it up to there, and XPG might not be on. So we should look at that. It doesn't say that it's not, but it did score decent, just not the best. And then to do this sort of test, you just go to user benchmark and then run the free test. You just click it, and then it will say you accept. You click that, and then it will run the five minute test, or however long it is, and it will have an entire list of your parts. Um, basically that's all you have to do for the meantime. You can also look to see if Windows is up to date. You can just type in Windows and we'll say updates. Uh, this device is missing important security quality. Check for updates. And then all this needs to be updated as well. So do the NVIDIA update, and then do the Windows update, and then run the user benchmark to make sure you actually got the proper pieces that you were supposed to get in your build. Other than that, there's really not much you really have to do. And then after that, download Steam, download Epic, and download your, uh, I can't remember what the heck the one for Apex is called, but download all those, get your games installed, and make sure to save them to your hard drive. Try to leave your SSD strictly just for your Windows. Uh, I can show you what I mean. So if you go over to your storage, so you can see here at the storage settings, there this is your SSD with uh, 111 gigabytes free, and then your new volume, which will have the 931. Try to save to new volume D, do not save to C. You want to try to leave your SSD as empty as possible because it will help your windows run a lot better. You might as well run all your games off the hard drive. You don't get that much of a bonus from playing off an SSD. It's not worth slowing down your Windows performance. So make sure when you're saving games, save it to the D drive. And then later I'll show you guys how to run the BIOS if I can get into it. I'm scared that CyberPower won't let me, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Another cool thing is 
And then yeah, this thing has so many different light. Like it's crazy. Like there's so many different options. It's just switching through it itself. There's a bunch of really cool ones. I'm really enjoying the lights.